This is a review of some of the charts that have stocks that we've been following this last week or so. Here's GDP, which is an independent oil and gas. Made a big move up today. Let me expand that a little bit. The stock hit a high of 53.99 and came all the way back down to 47.15. So it came back almost $7 on this high there down to the close. Clearly, the oil isn't really ready to go up as far as the price per barrel. Let's take a look at another stock. Here's COG, started to move up, but also sold off. ATPG sold straight off right at the opening from their earnings report. Any stop losses would have been hit there. And XDO has had about a two to a three day rebound and a little bit of selling off. We'll just have to watch that one. My feeling is that these independent oil stocks do not act well today compared to the large oil companies like ExxonMobil, Chevron Texaco, British Petroleum, ConocoPhillips. They acted much better than these small independents. So I would close or consider closing those. I sold the GDP today under 54, and the independent oil stocks did not act well at all even considering that oil went up on the price barrel today. Here's GDP, the one to three minute chart. Today, stock opened up at around $48, went all the way as high as about just under 54, and then sold off all the way down to 46.65 today. And this is the chart pattern that a lot of these did. Let's take a look at XTO, similar type of pattern today. Now let's look at two of the banking stocks that I've been following this last several weeks is Wells Fargo and Bank America. This is the Wells Fargo daily chart, a decisive downtick today on the stock. It could be the beginning of a correction is what I believe is happening. Here's Bank America has been a little stronger than Wells Fargo. And let's take a look at the daily chart on SKF. You can see that little rise right there was a range of $12 from a low of 115.36 there as high as 117.75. This goes up in an accelerated way when these financials drop. So this looks like this could move up as long as financials cool off this next couple weeks. Here's Johnson & Johnson started to pull back a little bit. I don't see could be an entry point to buy long back down here at $69 again. Let's take a look at Pfizer. Still in a bull run here even though it pulled back. Coca-Cola came down today pretty decisively from a high of uh, 55 and closed at 54. The ag chemical stocks, AGU, let's take a look at those. Lower low, lower high. I think we're going down to probably it's low right in here. Very possible to see this stock come down here to this support line and lower low. I have not shorted this stock. I've been saying this for a week that we're having this pattern of lower lows and lower highs. Let's take a look at Monsanto. Very weak rebound there. Here's Mosaic, fertilizer company. You gotta remember the harvest is clearly a quantifiable number with corn, wheat, all the soybeans. And these are the agricultural chemical companies that are supporting the farming industry with oil coming down, the corn prices are coming down, dollars going up. All these are the typical relationships that you would expect although I did not expect oil to drop this much. And here's POT, Potash, another fertilizer company. So these four are in the same group. Let's take a look at FCX. Definitely started, uh, went up a little bit more today, and we started selling off. This is, I can see this stock going down to the low 80s, another 4 or $5. CNX, this was the same category as FCX. I think what we're going to see in these coming weeks is I still believe that we're going to have a rise in the oil stocks, any energy like coal. I did not want to introduce any new ideas tonight. I think we're in a waiting and a holding pattern and letting the market correct, especially in the financials. And I think it's going to be some day trade calls, big swings tomorrow and Monday. But I don't see any swing trades for you to talk about until we see a bigger correction. I'll see you in the weekend and you have a good day tomorrow.